The Wisdom Behind Natural Disasters, An Islamic Perspective There were thousands of deaths in Turkey and Syria caused by Monday's 7.8 magnitude earthquake and its numerous aftershocks. Other tens of thousands were injured and left without shelter during the winter. It is heartbreaking to see the suffering, death, and destruction of human beings. The images of death, suffering, and the cries of people, men, women, and children, are difficult to forget. People who believe in God are curious as to why God let these catastrophes occur. People who reject God are prepared to use this catastrophe as evidence against him or his existence. Let us have a look at what Islam says about natural disasters. Allah knows best. Allah causes disasters and calamities for a reason that only Allah fully knows. Allah has the full right to do what He wills. He is not questioned about what He does, but they will be questioned, Al-Anbiya 23. Tests from Allah for all. Calamities are the tests from Allah on the one who suffered and on the one who is saved. When brothers in Turkey and Syria suffer from the earthquake, do we take lessons? Do we take initiative to help them? Allah examines us whether we take action or not. So, it is a test for one who suffers from that calamity as well. Everybody should learn. If you can't do anything, just raise your hands to Allah and ask Him to relieve their pain. Every soul will taste death. And we test you with evil and with good as trial, and to us you will be returned. 35. Meaning, Allah tests you with calamity sometimes, and with blessings at other times, to see who is thankful and who is ungrateful, who is patient and who is discouraged. Or do you think that you will enter paradise while such, trial, has not yet come to you as came to those who passed on before you? They were touched by poverty and hardship and were shaken until, even there, messenger and those who believed with him said, When is the help of Allah? Unquestionably, the help of Allah is near. Al-Baqarah 2.14 Calamities are fortune. When the afflicted person keeps patience and do toba, the calamity turns into good fortune. He will get three benefits, 1. Calamity works as the expiation of the sins. 2. Calamity raises the status in ranks, 3. Calamity causes to get rewards. There is nothing that befalls a believer, not even a thorn that pricks him, but Allah will record one good deed for him and will remove one bad deed from him, the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said. Calamities are wake-up calls. Calamities are wake-up calls to humankind. Man is encouraged to discover new things and find solutions to make life easy. Man should use his best to achieve it. However, he should not challenge Allah. He should not think that everything comes under his control. He should be humble and not arrogant. And we have already sent, messengers, to nations before you, O Muhammad, then we seize them with poverty and hardship that perhaps they might humble themselves, to us. Then why, when our punishment came to them, did they not humble themselves? But their hearts became hardened, and Satan made attractive to them that which they were doing. Al-Anam, 42, 43. Thank Allah for calamity. We need to thank Allah for this calamity. How? Sometimes Allah prevents us from bigger calamities by allowing us to suffer smaller tragedies. If you assess any calamity or tragedy, you will find that there is always a calamity bigger than what you suffered. The biggest calamity is one's death. Then, one has the chance to thank Allah for any kind of calamity because he finds always some calamity bigger than what he suffered. So, he thanks because Allah has prevented him from being harmed by that bigger one. O oh people, whoever among the people or among the believers is stricken with a calamity, then let him console himself with the loss of me, for no one among my nation will be stricken with any calamity worse than my loss.